From the inland highway, we turn at Cook Creek Junction, and we're going to stay to the right for 15.1 kilometers. At that point, we see the Roseball Creek Bridge and an old road to the right. So I'm going to clear up a little confusion here as to uh, the route to uh, Mount Joan, Squarehead, and Mount Curran. Uh, this is old uh, culvert pipe. There's a big stack of it right there. Anyways, you've come along uh, Cookhorn, Maine here, and uh, we come to a split. This is about uh, 15 uh, kilometer, 15.1 or 15.4, depending how your uh, how accurate your uh, mileage is coming out here. But anyways, we'll see. You go by a 14 kilometer sign and another kilometer from there. Now you can see the main road goes to the left. It crosses a bridge. Uh, it crosses Roaring and Rosewall Creek. They actually uh, meet just uh, to the right of the uh, bridge. You don't go across that bridge. You actually go to the right on this older road and uh, that is the route that takes you to uh, Mount Joan, Mount Curran and Squarehead. Uh, you stay straight on that route. There is a road that shoots off to the left. No, you keep going straight through the deactivated uh, section of road and you follow it all the way up till you see the um, Mount Joan, Mount Curran sign. Uh, that's where we've come from and uh, we are just at this uh, T here. So uh, we keep going to the left here. Or it's more or less uh, the straighter direction that we're going. Uh, so stay off that right trail. But you can see because there is the first sign and uh, your sign here will indicate that you're, uh, just as you can see right there, Mount Curran. You got the square head and Joan all going that direction there. So after an early section behind me here, we're looking at, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty much back to nice and smooth again. That's typical of this uh, trail. So we've reached the CDMC sign here. You can see to the left is the route to Mount Joan and Mount Squarehead. And to the right is the, the route to uh, Mount Curran, which looks like it's had a lot of ATV traffic. And I don't ever remember that uh, 10, 12 years ago. That was the last time I did this route. I've done it, done it three times, uh, the uh, Traverse a couple times. And Mount Joan, which I'm gonna just take a peek down here, show you the route to uh, the route to Mount Joan here, it uh, doesn't look like it's getting a lot of traffic and uh, really it's the same old, same old, hasn't changed really. So that looks pretty much the same. But what's changed here I think is the uh, this uh, trail here looks uh, a little bit more beaten uh, with the ATVs coming up here now. So. I don't know how high they can get, but uh, I'm going to wander up uh, Mount Curran, the trail to the right here. And uh, I've got my bike stashed in the bush, so off I go. The line in blue is the route to Mount Curran. The red line is the route to Mount Joan. And the green line is the Traverse via Squarehead. Looks like we've gotten to the end of the ATV traffic uh, lane here. <laughs> Boy, they can chew things up. But anyways, it looks like uh, they haven't chainsawed in here because uh, I don't see any signs of uh, them uh, up the trail here. So that's good. I like to get back to just a normal trail because they can sure chew things up and create erosion. Well, this explains why the ATVs quit a ways back there, a few hundred yards back. Uh, we are uh, in a little more exposure here, uh, just a narrow trail here. It has about a 500 foot drop there. Uh, you're looking up uh, toward uh, Squarehead there in the clouds and over toward Mount Joan. Uh, yeah, looking really good here. And as you can see, we're, we've got a normal trail ahead of us. Well, there's some beautiful scenery on this uh, trail. So I'm gonna show you here as we, as we climb up here. You can see the uh, islands and uh, we're looking over toward Mount Hell. And there's our trail here and we'll continue. Yeah, here's another good view of the uh, mountains here. And uh, 
you can see everything's kind of just just reaching the cloud level today there so looking down into the valley well we're almost there you can see the a little bit of exposure there and again looking out at uh, Mount Joan and uh, we bit of snow up there yeah looking toward Chips Point there and uh, of course, Denman Island, Hornby in behind it. Well, we're pretty much at the top here. So we're looking over toward Joan and Squarehead there, and we uh, looking down in the valley there. And yeah, last little scramble to the top. Kind of get a little bit of a shot over at square head there and uh joan's hidden behind the clouds right now but uh, a little chilly pretty windy up here and little bits of snow <laughs> a few feet away here i've got another little batch went through some snow behind me so it's still chilly up here for this time of the year july you can see the uh, islands again and over toward chips point there so it's just uh, a little bit of a hazy day here. Quite a wind up here, so it's a little bit on the chilly side. I didn't bring my uh, shell, I left it with the bicycle. So anyways, I'm gonna get going here pretty quick and keep moving. But uh, it's, quite, uh, it's quite beautiful up here, actually, so. From here, you can do the Traverse to Squarehead and Mount Joan. At the top of Mount Kieran, the rewards are spectacular. As of July 2020, these mountains are still easily accessed through the logging roads. 